Shows up for two seconds, get. What's that all about, my friends? Oh my god! Where are you going? Why? Where are you going? Alright, I love you, babe. Drive safe. Look at this. Look at this unit right there, eh? Look at this unit. I don't even. Ah, at least you dropped me a coffee. Alright, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and install this hydraulic tensioner. Alright, guys, I should put some tension on this belt. Now, uh, these are just 12 mils. Yeah. Alright, now, make sure your belt's centered on your gears. Alright, centered on that. Turn on that. Now, just make sure that. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this three times before I pull the pin to make sure that it's still all in the exact same spot. And then I'll pull the pin. Cause you don't want to pull this pin and then find out that it's not in spec or not, timing's not at zero. So I don't think we'll have any issues, but it's always great to double check because Probably should have left the plug it out. Yep. Yeah. Right, one more time to see. Look at that. Perfect. Now, go ahead and pull this pin. And look at that. Timing belt installed. I'm just going to go ahead and put this belt guy on. Look at that. The timing belt is 100% complete. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and install this fuel rail now. Now these have spacers that go on these bolts. Do not install this without these spacers. That's torqued down to 79 inch pounds. All right, I'm gonna install the fuel pressure regulator. Um, now, 
Originally, I was going to run an aftermarket fuel pressure regulator. And then I decided that I'm just going to run the stock one for the main reason of that. I don't want to have issues with starting. And there's no point in running an aftermarket fuel pressure regulator until the point that I actually need it. Like, this stock fuel system, don't get me wrong, when it comes to the injectors, because this is USDM and these are only 440 cc's, but if you switch these over to the 550's that come in the USDM, this fuel system, it uh, handles quite a, quite a bit. So, what we're gonna do, just get this on here. And then I'm going to get the uh, fuel line feed on the other side. And we'll tighten everything up. This tape. Now on the fuel feed side, you have two silver crush washers. Now one sits on one side and the other one goes on the other side. All right, now here's the fuel feed. Um, this goes, I'll show you an angle afterwards. Just get around there. This actually bolts onto the block down here. Alright, those are 12 mils. Just like that. Alright, so the fuel system is all back and put together. So like I said, here's fuel rail obviously. With all the injectors. Fuel feed comes from down here. So this is where it will get connected to my IS. And then run up here to the regulator. Then up around the intake over to feed the rail, goes through the rail, and then this is my return, this is a regulator for the return, and then that runs down and then out, and then this will run, I'll have to run my new fuel return line off of that bad boy. So <clears throat> that's all of that, and that's all torque. So now, all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start reassembling this timing cover. As you can see, nice little wrinkle finish on that.
All right, we're gonna go ahead and throw this crank pulley on. Now I'm gonna use somewhat of the same technique as I use to get that timing gear on. But like I said, if it doesn't go on smooth, like this is going on ultra smooth, I'm doing this with one finger. But if it doesn't go on smooth, don't do it, because you're gonna have some problems. We're gonna go ahead and throw this uh, serpentine belt tensioner on. Now these are all 12 mils as well. I'm gonna drop these down there, obviously. All right, now this gets torqued down to 15 foot-pounds. Probably out back to tighten that one by hand first. Boom. Now that's pretty a lot of things. Like, look at how unreal this turned out. Hot. Too hot. Now. Yes. Alright, so I just threw these uh, exhaust hangers on. Now these get torqued to 29 foot pounds. Uh. Alright, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and install the power steering pump. Now this gets installed like this.
sure there's bolts up in here. Let's throw a little piece. And that's that. What's going on guys? Back at the house. So I'd show you a couple of things that came in that are just a little exciting. It's literally just a stack of goods. So, oh, I'm sure set it on here. No, I don't think it does. Okay, so, guys, I received my ECU. Okay, so this is why I'm rewiring everything. And it's pretty much just because this is all brand new wire. So, let's see. Now, it's just my invoice. Here's my boost controller. It has the black fittings. But yeah, it's uh, Excite. And then here's my intake air temperature sensor. Now this is an eight position rotary switch. So and that allows me to change pretty much anything I want. So either tune levels, like say I wanted like a daily tune and then a full send or boost level. And then this is where things are. So these go in any of the terminals that you don't use, keep it watertight. They include some resistors for things that you need them for. Look at this one. Like this is, it's a nice piece. Even the packaging is like, so. And they give you a whole bunch of extra pins, small and big ones, tuning cable. Now this I must say, this is nice. This is laminated. Like who does that? That's such a nice touch. That way this thing won't actually get destroyed. But yeah, this is all the pinouts. And then the other nice thing is even on the back, it even gives you a schematic on how to read each pin, like where each <coughs> pin is. And then down here for your wide band, it's pretty unreal. And then because I was waiting for, I think it was like a three week wait, they actually sent me this for free. And what this is, is a Bluetooth module, as you can see. And this gets wired to the can L and can H port and that allows you to be able to run all your data logging and all your gauges on a tablet so that's pretty damn nice so thanks for watching guys we're getting there uh, next steps are probably going to be wiring it up so stay tuned for those videos and yeah like comment subscribe if you feel like it if not, then don't. Take it easy, guys.